shrew's body is only two inches long. This long? That's right, that's about two inches. In the Sibner household, talking about nature, the food chain, and natural resources is nothing new, even for two-year-old Benjamin and six-year-old Max. That's because their mom, Julia, makes it a point to talk about the environment to her boys as often as possible. A sugar glider, that looks like a flying squirrel, doesn't it? I just think the kids like to know about the world around them and, and they can't help but learn about it. I think just, you know, kind of fostering that when they're young. I mean, when they see a squirrel and you can start talking about the squirrel, well, where, where does the squirrel live, what does he eat? Max, can you put these in the recycling bin for me? Julia believes adding environmental education into her children's lives has been quite simple. It's better to teach them positive, productive things. You know, I mean, teach them about where your garbage goes. Teach them about, um, you know, just choices to make. We try not to put things in the landfill that don't have to go there. We recycle as much as we can. Even a quiet moment sitting on their front yard bench allows Julia to foster her children's curiosities about the world around them. You know, I think all kids are just so aware of other creatures around them because, you know, they're little and they're, they don't have all that clutter in their minds, so they're, you know, they can focus on all these, all these little things going on around them. We can't see the frog, but we're going to see the house. All right. But how young is too young to address environmental issues with your kids? According to pediatrician Dr. Leon Cohen, the younger, the better. It's very important to teach children about the environment. Um, we live uh, in harmony with the environment. Look at the lizard. They learn responsibility. They learn nurturing. They learn community service. And it's not only something that they can learn for the future, but it helps to bring families together. And I think that's what really what it's all about. So how can you begin discussing the environment with your kids? Here are a few suggestions to get you started. First, use simplistic terms. In teaching a child, you can, you can not just tell them that you have to put the newspaper in a recycling bin. You can bring up the subject of trees and the fact that there are not going to be trees forever and we need to conserve paper. Second, make it easy. Uh, saving electricity, turning the lights off when you're not in the room is something simple that even small children can learn to appreciate. Third, make it fun. Dr. Cohen suggests creating art projects out of recycled materials, such as this rocket, made airborne with the help of a recycled plastic Coke bottle. Julia hopes projects like these and crawly critters like these will help her boys make positive choices the whole world can enjoy. I actually read somewhere once, a long time ago, before I had kids, that the worst thing you can do to the environment is have children. And if you think of it, it's true. So if you try to minimize the impact by educating your kids, you know, about not using up everything so there's nothing left, you know, that's probably a good thing. Yay!